internet. My rat nearly was 61 months. Like that Navy SEAL. Art, 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 art. something I forgot. Ah. I also always forget there's this fish selling boat down here. The black market fish selling boat. It's fun there, right? Jealous of your ability to go in blind, or mostly, or whatever. I'm tired, am I there yet? Should have paid a, mor a morge, a mage to port me. Going way faster. Those are wizards. Damn it, Richard. You're a failure. Your mother doesn't love you. There's somewhere in here. Definitely not you. Well, you probably got a fine clay bottom. to stop using these heavier rods for shit that isn't necessary. Just burn them up for no good reason. Maybe you got a clay bottom. Doubt that, but maybe. Boom. 
Oi. Do you have a fish on already, friend? Score one for the Gudge boy. If it's a big whitefish, we just leave. It's the best profit per hour out of a whitefish we'll get. Ever. Yep, time to go. See ya. It was a profitable trip. <laughs> that wasn't very big. I want to catch one of them on an ultralight rod. It'd be fun. Oh, is it the green one? Someone had told me the black one. So I figured red was the closest thing I had to black. You mean uh, this one? Green wolf? Last week it was black wolf. I don't have very many bait fish. I just figured I didn't have very long and I got to use them.
probably be better off from a boat. And like actually working your way down the channel, but then you gotta drive back to shore every time your bottom rods go off. What was the thing? What thing? Oh, I just put my kid to sleep. signed up for it and it reminded me that that was like the first field trip I remember my mother chaperoning and I think it was because I was just afraid she was gonna get us lost Hustleberry, thank you for the 15 months. How you doing? Homecoming, did they enjoy it? It's an early homecoming. They get to wear cool dress. Cool dresses is cool. I was catching more fish, I might be able to pain suffer through that, but the fact that I'm just catching nothing makes that miserable. Don't care that much about catching one on an ultralight. Ah, oh, I was gonna buy that too. So many things I was gonna buy and didn't buy. Yeah, dude, that's the joy of, ooh, that's the joy of fishing with bait fish. All kinds of things eat them. Wait till you catch your first, like, just straight up upgrade. Last night I had a rough, eat a rough, a trophy rough, eat a baby rough. That's just upgrades, dude. That's just, like, evolving your Pokemon. Or when you have like a 70 gram fish, eat like a 50 gram fish and you wonder about the math. Like was it a 20 gram fish before it ate it? Did it throw it up on the way back? Was it actually trying to fuck it and just got hooked on accident? That's math, by the way. That's what that is. Chub, do you have them? Um, sometimes. I had one this morning, so I'm proud of myself. 34 years old, still rocking it. You're fishy, fishy, fishy. Ba -ba 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 
Oh, I gotta dry some clothes. I told my daughter today to go through her closet and pull out all the clothes she didn't want. She came up with like three things. But then I told her to pick out an outfit for school. And she told me she had nothing she wanted to wear. So I went and looked in her fucking closet full of clothes and went, this doesn't make any sense. Fucking math again, man. The gudgeons are winning. They're beating the bleak up. Send me your gudgeons. This is a whitefish. Gudgeons are dominating. It's a whitefish. Gudgeons are dominating. I'm going to mosey on down here because I feel like... Bite was better yesterday when I was using the wrong bait. Hey, there's a gudgeon. That's a monster, though. Oh, yeah, gudgeon boy. Lord of the gudgeon. Oh, that's a big one. I don't think I've played with gudgeons. I don't think I've ever really targeted them. Charloaches, I think I targeted once. <gasps> Shamehameha! Release you back into the wild where you belong, Shamehameha. These are the two gudgeons, friend. I can't return the present. I was going to give you something excellent, I'm sure, too. Yeah, I went there for like five minutes and caught some bleak and went, this isn't as cool as Ladoga. Ladoga, you can see him. All cute and shit, nibbling at your bait. What's this? What's this? Oh, buddy. We're on the profit train now. Choo choo. Where it sometimes doesn't go as planned. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what you mean. What the fuck's happening in your real life fishing? Every time I release a fish, it goes as planned. The key is putting the fish back in the water where you got it from. I could see where you'd be confused about that, but once you get that part down, the release is always. Just a second. This one's bobber's about to go. I can feel it. Any second now. Three, two, one. All right. Well, I was wrong. Oh, like gut hooking them? No. That doesn't happen in this. You got a serious bend to your rod, sir.
God, has anyone seen that commercial for this new drug that's out? Well, if you don't live in America, you probably don't get cool drug commercials like we do. Half of our TV ads are commercials for drugs. But there's this cool new drug to get rid of uh, Ben and your wiener. I can't remember if it's like, it's pickles I think they use. And like their website is even like bentpickle.com. boy it's just like a whole bunch of images of bent pickles and talking about your bent pickle and maybe no nah, dude i got a straight as an arrow dick it leans a little to the left of the base but my dick itself she's a straight shooter well not shoot doesn't shoot straight and not not at all it pees like significantly to the left all right it's two to one gudgeon to bleak gudgeon bleak got a bigger one Bent carrot. It's carrots. You're right. This guy knows. He watches TV. Yeah. High five to TV. Oh, or he has a bent dick that he's getting straightened out. Either way, high five. I think, like, the only curve that would bug me enough that I'd, like, spend money to fix it is up. But at the same time, like, I feel like there's some advantages in the bedroom to a nice up sweep. But, like, it could be annoying having it. Trying to shoot out the top of your drawers. Nah, dude, like, I, I think your upswept dick is... <coughs> a money maker in the bedroom just might be annoying when you're cruising around the house with a belt on or something. Honorable mention. I just removed the Gonzo picture from my OBS. Gonzo dicks are the rarest of breed and the holiest of grail. Except that morning piss. Yeah, I had a buddy whose erection, like, legit had so much upsweep that it poked him in the belly. And I could see how that'd be a pain in the butt to take a piss in the morning. And that's, like, the best way to get rid of morning wood is to take that good piss. Well, in a hurry, anyway. From the fish kill. I don't know what depth I'm even set at. Are these like coming? I think they might still be set for bleaks. Which is weird. Do I change anything? It's been working fairly well. Yeah, I am still set at 17. Huh. Anyone a regular black spine herring fisher? I think Hardcore said yesterday he does a, a meter. Uh oh. 
Bleak's trying to compete. I've been slamming him at... Uh, right on the top, so I don't know. I did it again. Didn't quite cast far enough. Oh, look at the Dace Lord. I did it again? Are you kidding me? Why not just hold shift? You're, you've got your fucking clip set. Shamehameha at 665 grams. That's a big Shamehameha. Let's try uh, a little deeper. See if it affects anything. The maximum perfect depth. A 90 degree angle. Like in the middle. Not like the... 90 degrees from like tip to base but like an actual 90 degree bend in it somewhere dunk down periscope <laughs> I got deeper and I picked up a citral. I feel like I've been misled. I was getting just black spines and shamehameas on the top. I hadn't got a citral one. I'm gonna need all your bleaks. Thanks, chat. P.S. Uh, thanks. Again. PPS. How's your dick curve? <laughs> Shamanaya. I shouldn't do that. It feels wrong. I've only ever watched one episode of Dragon Ball. Which I think that's where that's from. <laughs> Your curve is righteous. You should get it tattooed on the curve. The word righteous. How do dick tattoos hold up? I feel like it's the kind of skin that it wouldn't it wouldn't do well. Rev banger, how's your penis tattoo holding up? How often you gotta get that thing touched up? Do you get it when you're hard or when you're soft? Does it matter? It's gotta matter. Fuck, I got so many questions. I know the perfect person for this. I'm gonna tweet at him right now. Well, I, I might catch a fish. I gotta wait. Nah, dude, you just banned that thing off. You haven't ever played with the... The, the bands? <laughs> They're a little dangerous, but... Would I only eat Chef Boyardee for the rest of your life to save humanity? Yeah, I have a kid. And I don't like Chef Boyardee. Nothing they offer. But I have a child. I have to. Otherwise I'd be a bad dad and then you'd all make fun of me for it. Even if you were dead.
Shit, did I just get a fish? I feel like I did. And I missed it. I was trying to tweet it, my tattoo expert lady, about dick tattoos. What if they mean Mr. Chef Boyardee himself? I'd eat him. Listen, if I gotta cannibalize a human being to save my daughter's life, so be it. I'd probably enjoy eating Mr. Boyardee more than his, his food products. better here That sounds like bullshit, Juju. I'm gonna ask a professional tattoo lady. That sounds like absolute bullshit because, like, there would literally be no reason to do that. You just band it. Like, literally, you, you put a band around your dick and balls to keep an erection. They make it for sex. Like, why would you take the time of having, like, somebody... It's, tattoo artists are, like, a lot more professional than that. Red Banger, thank you for the five gift subs. That sounds like the way someone would do it in a trailer park when you're trading them, like, an eight ball of methamphetamine. That's what I'm wondering, Arga. Like, I mean, I've seen tattoos... On people that grow <laughs> and how they change. I want to know flaccid to hard dick tattoos. Like, I have a really tiny flaccid penis and, like, a pretty okay, not nothing to brag about, erect penis. Serious growth, though, like, over 200% growth. Uh, so I feel like I could do some fun things with a tattoo. Like, unroll a scroll. <laughs> That just says, like, boing or, wait, bang? Like the gun thing? I got a, a fake gun. Or just take, like, Viagra. There's, like, way better ways to keep an erection, I feel, than hoping somebody can keep you hard while you're getting stabbed with a needle. But, like, do it in a for sure way. Just have somebody show up every morning and tattoo a little bit at a time with on your morning wood with like while you're still sleeping. <laughs> you feel like I feel like my dick would get an aversion to staying hard around the person who kept stabbing it with a needle. They'd have to sneak attack me. And 
they bend stretch it like over their fingers. Uh, it's, this is why I'm asking a professional. I feel like there's just too many questions that need answering. How many subs to get the word hammer tattooed on my dick? But I want it, you know, like a, I want it in a scroll so that when I get hard, it unrolls and says the words hammer. People get tattoos all the time for like sub goals and stuff. Do you think it's against TOS to promise that it's on your penis? Dude, I'm a massive grower. Huge, like the truest of growers. I wanted you earlier. I don't want you anymore. You're very skinny. I mean, you couldn't see it on Twitch, that's for sure. But, like, even to offer it, like, forget a whiteboard. You get your name on a white dick here. Someone had sex on stream? That's tight. I hope they performed well. It'd be embarrassing if you didn't. There's been a few streamers over the years who have forgotten to uh, mute things after stream and just like immediately gone into porn. And stream and jack off, yeah. And pretending she, <laughs> she wasn't? <laughs> Wait. I love this. That's quite the fucking choice. Yeah, that would be incredibly easy to hide. Like, not even, like, zero challenge. I'd tune into that AMA.
I could be absolutely getting a blowy right now. You'd have no idea. I refuse uh, to be vocal anyway, so like I would just be silently enjoying myself here, and you'd have no idea. I'm not, unfortunately. I really wish this were true, but no blowjobs for this old guy. Just, and then just have it out while I walk around, just cause. No good reason. Yeah, being young was cool, hardcore. Man, I should have left. I, I feel like the uh, bite for the whitefish has been really good in the morning. And then still young? Yeah, but not like fun sex young. Now it's just like angry. Is it your birthday? Kind of sex. And... Oof, that sucks, GG. Yeah, I'm also not 70. Fish injury? They do happen. My hands are all tore up from fish biting me though, not from hooks, thankfully. I actually made them the grievous error of using both my hands to hold bass yesterday. So now, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, how chewed up my thumb is. But the, there's all kinds of, this one's worse. I don't think you can see it. They're just dirty, too. I don't know why they're dirty. But anyway, uh, my hands feel incredibly rough and dangerous <coughs> for alone time. And I realized that last night and had to pull the plug on my late night me time plans. There, don't die. I, I didn't kill him. I put him into a little fucking fish prison, carried him around for six hours, and then I let him go miles away from where I caught them. I mean, if they died, it was because of something they did, not me. They're fine. When I let them go, they were totally fine. One of them just went and sat under the dock and chilled there. He was just chilling, looking out, taking in his new environment. This is your home now, buddy.
Yeah, that would be a pretty serious hook set to jam a hook into your bone. I feel like you got soft bones, too. I think you would think it would chip or crack the bone, not and in any way enter it. Good hooks, honestly. Ask him, will you ask him what brand hooks? <laughs> like, it's a little... It's a little rude, but at the same time, if he's a real fisherman, he'll understand why. There's no better sales pitch for a hook than motherfucker's so sharp, I stuck it in my bone. Speaking of, I need to replace a few hooks. I haven't broken my line in like many, many weeks, and they've got to be getting dull. Oh, it's just a gamakatsu? Huh. I don't really love their hooks. I have broken my arm and uh, bruised a rib and my nose. I've broken my nose. Possibly my wrist, but I didn't go for x-rays because they wanted too much money. But it took like forever for my wrist to heal, like almost a year before I could put weight on it. Biggin. What map am I fishing at? Uh, Octuba. Yeah, I tried to catch a boulder that was rolling down a hill at me. I don't think you were around when I dropped my house on me, Akadma. That was a funny video, though. Yeah, I think this was just before then. I was tearing this big addition off my house, and it was like one final beam holding it up, and then my friend was like, let me record it. So, of course, then I had to try to do something funny, and then I dropped the entire roof of the addition onto my back, and it shot me down my hill that I live on. And, like, I would have been fine if not for the boulder that came tumbling down behind me and ran into my hand when I tried to catch it. You're not. You can't fish, like, actually see people in this game either, Trevor. I don't remember this trophy thing ever showing up before. Someone told me it's always been there, but, like... It was funny, super funny, because I didn't get like really badly injured. Oh, you can just join our chat and it shares it from all across the globe. You just join the Richard Hammer chat. That's why the chat is all people from chat. It's not that that's the only people playing the game. It's just we're all in the same chat room. If this is a whitefish, we're making the money. Oh, that tail didn't look like a sturgeon. It's a whitefish. We're making the money. With worm, blood worm? Oh, dude, I've caught like three. No, I haven't caught three. I've caught blue tags off the dock, though. Making the money, baby. Blue tags off the dock with flies, though. Doesn't have to be sandwich bait.
Yeah, I like the MC because they do a lot of uh, resin coated rings. And I really hate when my knot gets down in the little crease of the metal. Yeah, I like the MCs a lot. Yeah, dude, it's more popular than Smite. The other week, someone was trying to tell me Smite wasn't dead. Is it because of the gear ratio? I don't know what the Natura is. I'm sure I could look and see. Yeah, there's a ton more than that because this game is like actively attempted to push its users to its, per its own client. really really wants because steam charges them for microtransactions yeah i agree the meta pick is definitely the hsv and like not just because everyone says so, but I, I think it's just a, a much more versatile reel, especially with the fact you can upgrade the friction brake. Yeah, dude, this game's serious, Sakatna. Stop making fun of me. People have years of their life invested in this game. All right, there's a meta. There's a gear meta for sure. HSV didn't exist when Narga was meta, and it was just the best of the 14.5 kilo reels, stat-wise. And the Narga is still better in ways, but not any way that really matters. Chat password is Rich Ham with a capital H for ham. But the Narga still is a, is a more powerful reel than an HSV. Yeah, we're just talking. We just wanted to know about, I, well, by we, uh, it was mainly me, just really wanted to know about wiener tattoos and, like, flaccid be hard, can you do it, how do you do it, what effect will it have on the tattoo, can I get some really cool, elaborate tattoo that unravels with my dick, it's, you know, those kind of questions. I would get the HSV. I, everyone would probably agree, Gengar. If you haven't gotten an HSV yet, get an HSV. Let me look at the list here. HSV is, yeah, 26,850. Has one more kilogram drag ratio rating than the Narga. Has better line capacity than the Narga. And those two things are more relevant for you. I have no tattoos, no. Your Arga Warga? Not Narga Warga. Narga Arga Warga. I don't really like tattoos. You don't like much. Um, I also don't really like tattoos. Do you? Know, why do you not like tattoos? And then I'll give you my answer. That way, where you don't steal mine. I just missed a fish waiting for your response. You cocksucker. No real reason. Oh, 
I don't like tattoos because the same reason I don't like art. Flaws. And the last thing on earth I want to do, like I already have them because I'm, you know, a human and I'm 34 years old. Uh, but the last thing I want to do is look down at my arm and see like a fucking misshaped Mario and just hate that forever. And people be like, yeah, that's the, the art side. And fuck art. Art's, art's bad. Computers should draw everything. They're better. Yeah, as soon as computers do tattoos, then I'll think about it. Even good tattoos still have obvious flaws. Like even top high dollar tattoos. The lady I tweeted at, she worked for like one of the biggest tattoo shops in on the East Coast. People went on to do that whole show and everything. Like they tattooed celebrities and all that shit and like her tattoos are excellent compared to everybody else's tattoos I know but they're still not perfect except that she has a flower between her tits that if you spread her boobs apart is actually a vagina and like that's probably exists. I haven't heard of it, but yeah, it should be. It should exist and be affordable. Robot tattoos. Come in here for vagina. <laughs> That's why we haven't hooked up. Thanks for the 71 months. Is that a crayfish? Don't eat my gudgeon? His little pinchers! They move a lot. In this stream. Yeah, I don't like to talk about lady parts or lady business. It's not my, it's not my role. We, I don't even, I don't like genuinely in, don't like to say the P word. Vagina's funny. A fun, funny word to say, but like the P word, never. Unless I'm calling somebody that. Because I have baby hands. Oh, that's why we haven't hooked up. That's fair. You did say big titty goth bitch, so... What am I going to do with these baby hands? <laughs> Look at me getting a crayfish for a pet. Why don't you just get one out of your yard or something? They're everywhere. I do have tiny weak hands. It's, it's unfortunate. I could wear some of those, like, uh, big giant Mickey Mouse gloves you get at Disneyland. Sell them in different colors? Huh? Didn't, didn't know that. Small hand gang? Dude, my hand is so small. White, blue, red, orange, and purple. Do you think they stay that those colors? They have to have just fucked with like their diet or something to do that. Like feed them a bunch of food coloring. They are selectively bred. God, 
Ah, dude. The world is so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. The fact that there is somewhere out there selectively breeding crayfish for different colors to impress people to buy them is like top 10 dumbest things I've ever heard. That's not true, but it feels like it at the moment. Have a good night, Albino. I should see fancy praying mantises. I'm good. Yeah, you've got that backwards, Templar. The HSV is the small one. No, he's got that right. Here's what he said. Oh, well, he said both. They're both HSV SLC. Or no, they're, they're both SLC 80. The cheap one is HSV. that much but I gotta make sure now yeah HSV 80 SLC yeah yeah I don't think the SLC is very meta you don't upgrade the mech when your mech goes or not the mech it's the friction break isn't it Whatever you got, whatever it is you have to upgrade, is the friction brake, and you'll do that when yours wears out. Because you don't really need a 17 half kilo mech or friction brake for most things anyway. We were talking about this earlier. The 14. Ooh, Jabal! My steam image is not the cool pig. I don't ever look at my steam image. Yeah, it was like a couple hundred grams. Even though your rod can handle 19. 19 kilo. Ooh, 19 kilograms. Your rod can be as oversized to your reel as you want. You can use a fucking 55 kilogram rod and a two kilogram reel. That doesn't do anything. Doesn't change anything. You want your rod to, to at least be oversized though so you can turn your drag on. Oh yeah, my old dick hammer logo. What size line should you be using with it? I think your rod is a, l oh, wait, oh, with the HSV, I'd use like 18. This is as close as you can get to that rod without being over it. Actually, you could use a 19 rod, uh, line and then like an 18 liter. But you're gonna need, I think I run 21 kilogram line with my HSV because the way things work but uh your rod obviously can't handle that uh so basically the way it works is um i the best way i can explain it is like impact so even though you're 
your max drag is only 14 half kilograms. Um, a fish can pull hard enough that it doesn't pull that drag immediately. And with that impact, they can actually do more than your reel's max drag before it starts pulling drag. So you need that, like, extra oversize to, to turn the drag all the way up for those dashes. Uh, but, like, 19, like, I would try to get, like, a 19 kilo and then, like, an 18 and a half kilo liter and, and hope that's enough. And then make your next upgrade plan be a bigger rod. As long as your lead, yeah, as long as your leader is less than your rod. Yeah. It, and it just has to be less than your rod. So it can be fucking 18, 9. I don't, that won't exist, but you get my point. Tiny fish. Not what we're looking for. What is it? A chub? Yeah, so like when I'm upgrading, especially with like feeders where you're upgrading three things at a time, I usually keep skipping a step, right? So like um, the next rod you buy, buy it planning for, you know, the next reel kind of deal. So the next rod you buy, buy one that's fucking pretty oversized. That way it doesn't immediately cycle out. Um, I'm, always, I'm always trying to skip a, skip ahead one step with everything. And I mean, that 19 kilo will be fine, even if you have to run your drag at fucking 26 or whatever, right? Like, that's still a significant improvement over what I'm assuming you had was, like, what, a 9 kilo reel? Or did you have a, or were you still on a 5 kilo reel? Yeah, one, 21, I thought it was 21, but maybe it was 22 that I run. That's about average for our 14 and a half reel. No, I run 21. The more oversized your line, the more wiggle room you have with it wearing out. Because as your line wears out, it gets weaker. However, the more oversized your line is, the more it wears out your line guides. Akadna, if you're still here, you've got to just be cackling over there at the fucking seriousness of fishing. I can hear him judging me. Feel... Uh, I've said this a bunch in chat, and I'm, this, I'm the kind of guy who doesn't like take handouts often when I'm playing a new game and figuring it out, but if someone offers you leaders, take them. They don't cost us shit, and we'll never use up all the leader material we have. Because buying fluoro for leaders, we have to buy like 100 meters at a time, and that's like 100 liters. Okay, he did take them. Yeah, then you know, you know how the you know the drill. Is that a shamayamea? No, it's a sickle. Sitchel. God, he's such a good fish, dude. Like, what a good boy is that? Uh, just my favorite looking fish in the whole game. Now that's a pet. Give me one of those. A 3-4 liter? I don't know. I don't think I can quite do that big. I don't have it on me. Does anyone have anything that size? We may not have your size. That's always an option. Is 3-4 as big as you can go?
Wait, so did you just buy an extra? Yeah, you can return it if you haven't cast it yet. I just set the hook too early, freaking out about this dude accidentally buying an extra reel. So yeah, when you go to the shop, there should be like a return tab. The Narga is still a solid reel, like, like I said, it's, it's not met anymore. It used to be, but it's a strong reel, and uh, you won't be disappointed with it. If you get stuck with it, return the HSV instead. How many 14 and a half kilo reels do you have, though? Found a third Narga in your tent. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a weird problem to have. Okay. What's happening? I found a crayfish. And they're eating all my gudgeons. <laughs> close on, close off. Uh, I mean, whatever. They do it. You obviously ask before you take your clothes off, but like, you know, it can go either way. Why would that ever be in your tent? I, don't, I think the tent and the house are a shared stash, aren't they? All of a sudden, it's Sitchels. Sitchels galore. Naked fishing? The bugs. Eh, the bugs. And the sun. What fish do I like to catch IRL? Oh, any fish. I just like to fish. Uh, lately, I've just been bass fishing like crazy because it's tournament season. I won't read your message, hopefully. Hey, these are the wrong species. I'll use them. I need a haircut and a shave like hella bad. But thank you for saying I'm handsome. This is okay to lie when it's about my looks. Whip. Bell jingle jingle. Did you get to return the HSV then, bro? Because you will never want or need to keep that HSV if you've got three. Yeah, okay, good. I, I want to shave it. It's, it gets just a little too crazy on the sides. Yeah, I'd wait. You're going to want to switch to carp rods. That's where I'm at now. Switch to carp rods and abandon feeders altogether. Yeah, 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 white fish. Don't shave till spring. I usually do keep a beard till spring, actually. But I don't know. I've lost a ton of weight. So I might uh, attempt to find a mate. Probably not, though. That was so many different bugs I just dug up. It was insanity.
Yeah, I got to like 90s bottom fishing and then switched to spin fishing and maxed it out because spin fishing is just a lot more fun, especially on stream because it's active. I'm not. I don't want any more kids. I'd adopt, maybe. But I'd never have another one. I don't like babies. Babies suck. Like, if I was going to adopt, give me a fucking four-year-old, you know? People use hair rigs on tellies. Yeah, the big, heavy 25-kilo tellies and catch carp with them. Hey, welcome to the whitefish zone. It's been okay, actually. I guess it's kind of fucked up to say, but like I kind of I assume at some point I'll become like a, you know, a stepdad. Feels likely. Unless I just continue to avoid women. No girlfriend. Not even talking to. Well, I'm not talking to any women like that. I do talk to women. I'm not like a weird guy who runs away or something. But yeah, like when I'm, uh, you know, online dating, swiping around there, the options are usually like women my age ready to have kids. Those are all no's. Or women my age with like three kids. Those are all no's. That's the problem with online dating for me, is it's like going to the supermarket to buy shoes. That you, you can just be so incredibly picky that you leave the store without buying shoes. The longer I fuck around with it, though, the, like, more and more narrow my, uh... ...ideal choice becomes. Oh, needed repair. Not broken, though. Yeah, I was going to say, how the fuck did you break a Narga? Just give you sex, huh? See, I don't want that, either. I would love a relationship. Like, totally cool with it. Just... don't want to deal with all the other issues. <laughs> Wait, is that... That confused the shit out of me. Sounds like he used the hell out of it. Floro. Floro is for everything. I 
I won't send in my PP. Pee -pee. No, I won't. I told you about all my dick, I, the dick pic horror stories. I wish I could. Like, I, I definitely would like to send everyone pictures of my wiener. The problem is, I don't trust y'all. You'll be selling that bitch on the internet. biggest thing I miss about being in a relationship is a second income. You know? All my friends that are married, I'm like, how are you not just rich? Was I rich when I was married? Yeah. Well, no. I was actually technically only married for like a year. But like, when I had a second income, yeah. the plug for this. I left it at the shop, I think. Fuck. It's not, like, I, I simplify it to second income, but I really do think, like, the, the, like, that's lame. See, it's, see that's why I don't say because that part's lame, and the other way I said it was funny, but, like, the building a life together thing, I am not motivated enough to, like, push for more on my own. You know, just to like to even take care of what I got. I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. Fucking, I'll live in a shack down by the river. Go-to method for cooking fish: batter them and fry them. If it's a big fish, then I'll bake it. But I don't catch them. I don't eat that many big fish. Yeah, it's awful, Pikachu. The worst fishing game I've ever played. It's not even really fishing. It's some made-up game where the fucking everything you know about fishing gets thrown out the window. So yeah, second income and some like-minded, like life goals would be nice because right now I'm pretty much just here to take care of my kid until she doesn't need me anymore and then I don't know fish until I'm dead Yeah, if you watch me play Bassmaster, it's similar to that Pikachu. It's a fishing game made by people who don't know anything about fishing, and it sucks. And is frustrating. Yeah, it, cuddling. Yeah, I used to love to cuddle. I, I feel like it takes the right two people to cuddle. My last few encounters uh, 
the women are furnaces. And that's... I sweat when I peel an orange. So furnace and sweaty dude don't mesh. I love to be a little spoon. Little spoon is... But I'll be a big spoon. I don't really care. I'm lazy, you see? So, like, anytime I don't have to do anything, like, if the answer is, Richard, would you rather do or be done? Like, it's it's always going to be the lazy option. The lazy answer. Always. I'd be a catcher, not a pitcher. No. Maybe. But I don't think so. I just feel like... Whoo, that's a big reason I'm straight. I'm uh, protesting the catcher-pitcher... situation that's going on. You know. It's only fair to switch. It's the late. I'm s okay. It's the lazy option, but I'm still a man who's out to satisfy. If I could find, a, I could find, I can find lazy ways to pitch. Let me tell you, underhand, granny style. <laughs> T-ball. so interesting that the black spine herrings went away. Are you at the bellow spot, Dreams? Because I got a beluga here yesterday. So, enjoy. Or like the day before yesterday. Whitefish really slowed down for me. The citral pick, though. So that's something, I guess. Yeah, I caught a couple cats, I think. Some Russian sturgeon. I think uh, a bunch of stellets. Hardcore caught a Persian sturgeon, I think. gonna run out of mayflies no That explains why my white fish went away. Look who's here. No, this is uh yeah, this is our guild, two L's. It's actually just a chat room, but we call it the fishing guild. Yeah, yeah, you can join and we can chat to each other. 
We're like 200 members strong, baby. Who's this guy? I can't even... That's the longest name I've ever seen. Thank you. I don't think I accepted it. I can't send you back anything in return. Like a watermelon. Because I don't have premium, but I would. It's free. You got no excuse not to be in the fishing guild. Plus, you might fall in love. Who knows? Two people from my chat got married, and they've been married a while, I think. Unless they're divorced now. They both still show up, so I assume they're married, or they just sep split me up in the divorce. Tiny white fish. Sounds like a whitefish, honestly. What reel are you on? At least for me, whitefish haven't ran fast. The mid sized ones have just kind of. They've almost. Hot spots on bear? Yeah. Uh, click on the, this button and find a new lake. Was it running hard, hardcore? Oh, okay. My I'd caught an 11 kilo earlier on my Overlord, and it just kind of unked, unked, unked at the end of the line like a Xander. Mine must have been lazy. Oh, on your Vanga. That's a catfish, then, I bet. The learning curve? Yeah, the learning curve is there, but I, I like teaching people. We got the chat. Ooh! These guys are pretty helpful. You, I think, if anything, they can give you too much information, but they're, they're helpful. No! Your line is torn! Fish in this game are much smarter than IRL. I don't think so. Maybe. I get like the rare speci specimens, I guess. What's wrong with I've never had any luck at Bear. Some people love Bear, and Bear has its times that it's amazing, I hear. The biggest thing with the game is just learning. I mean, the, the biggest struggle for new players is just understanding fishing setups. Once you can grasp that, like truly grasp that, then uh, the rest is pretty easy. And honestly, don't sleep on the dumb little, like, uh, little fish infos. Sometimes they'll even, like, give you some information on where they like to hang out. For non-fishers that don't fish at all IRL, I think the biggest, like, rookie mistake is this idea that 
big, bi like, small fish live here and big fish live here. They're always chasing deep water. And there are some monsters in deep water in this game, but you're not going to catch them early. A lot of the fishing that gets done in this game is 10 meters from shore. That's my favorite thing about, like, buying a boat. Most of the time I'm casting at shit like what's right in front of me here. I bought a boat so I could cast it shore. And that's not, it's not always the case. There are just species of fish tend to flock to certain types of water. And this game, while it has dynamic fish that move around, it still does a pretty good job of fish live in the depths that they belong in. Um, every once in a while you'll get the oddball, but I think that's pretty realistic too. <clears throat> Big fan of fishing a kayak. I just can't get into it. Are you on top of your kayak yet, or are you still sitting down inside one? Are you the guy I kayak fished with? <laughs> I don't remember anybody I went on a fishing trip with. <laughs> on top? Yeah, yeah. You're not the guy I kayak fish with? Okay. I don't remember who that was. I actually feel like I do remember most of the people I fished with, but not the guy I kayak fished with. I also got you confused with bad juju for the longest time. Even after he visited me. I'm really bad with y'all's names. I'm just bad with names. Maybe I'm just a mean person. I'm a bad friend. Oh my god. I think twice when Juju visited this last time to go fishing with me, uh, I went to introduce him to people but didn't know his real name, so just had him introduce himself and never paid attention to his real name because he's just going to be Juju for me and never going to be a real name. Yeah, you're south somewhere though, right? You were like kind of on my route. Aren't you like Kentucky or something like that? Tennessee, yeah, something like that. I think Ash was in Kentucky and wanted me to fish with him. And I didn't make it there because I was just too burned out. He was supposed to be my last stop. It's another crayfish, isn't it? No, that's too big for a crayfish. been carp fishing in a while. I caught one on a Senko the other day though, that was fun. Eight pound test in a Senko. Took me for a ride. 
He just ended up wrapped up in a tree and I had to go get him out of the tree. I never actually reeled him in, now that I think about it. He just ran into a tree and I drove the boat over there and grabbed him. Was the last one a cat? I didn't see. Did you land the one? Or are you still fighting that same one? Yeah, you got some big ones down there. I am jealous. I really want to catch a blue cat, a big blue cat, but I haven't gotten to take the time to do it. Think that's really any different than a boat though good because in my boat he's still gonna pull me but it's gonna be a lot heavier and he's gonna pull me a lot slower okay now fish listen i think that effect is just more apparent in a kayak but actually not any like i don't think you have any advantage to tiring a fish out Depending on the drag of your reel, I guess. I guess you could... Eh, it's still pretty minimal. But yeah, you could let him pull you easier than I could let him pull me. He'd more likely pull drag than pull me. But how much... I mean, the pull is the same, right? I don't know, that's a weird one. I'd have to physics that one out. I think it's the same. At the end of the day, he's pulling with the same force, right? So either pull drag or pull the damn boat. Why do I keep setting the hook early? What's wrong with me? My brain just melted. Yeah, pulling less line out and more boat. Like, it seems safer, I think. But... I catfish with such heavy gear. Good luck, motherfucker. I can chase him around with my trolling motor. I would never dare troll backwards because my trolling motor is too strong. Oh, speaking of strong, speaking of strong. We knew the day would come. What was that one? Must have been a big sickle. Sitchel. Sickle. Sitchel. I think I'm going to try a little bigger hook just to see if I can get a bigger sitchel. I don't know what size is right. 18 felt right. a 10 centimeter leader. That's an F moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, the shame is when you lose a fish because you're a coward and or because you suck. When, when you battle a fish and it's a, a battle between man and fish and fish wins, it's an F. You just got beat. 
but at least you were, you know, willing to fight it out. I don't even mention it often because I don't want people to do it, but like you can even alt F4 if you're about to get spooled and a lot of players do it, which makes you lose the fish and not catch it. But then you're a fucking coward because literally on stream one time I had a fish run my spool till it turned red. It was completely empty. There wasn't a tiny any line left on it and the fish died. And I reeled that fucker in. But had I alt f forward before that, wouldn't have caught it. Happy birthday, Brock. I did have one get stuck in a rock, yeah. I bet hundreds, hardcore. That's why I always buy like medium tier telestate hooks. Especially because I use that ultralight so much. Is there a stat for lines broken? Man, yesterday was a bad day. We didn't make much money. I should go to bed, but I might do another hour, maybe one more. Now I want to do another fishing road trip chat. Can I have lots of money, please, and thank you? I liked fishing with chat. It was fun. It's been like three years. I wanted to make it an annual tradition. Then I got poor and divorced. Well, whatever we called that. annual tradition until someone from chat murders me. Don't murder me. My daughter's a good kid. She deserves uh, me. <laughs> well, she'd be upset if she lost me because she's such a good kid she doesn't understand. Walrus stick? Rod at the ready! Alright, y'all just taking all of my white fish. Yeah, those could have been my three. And you got an 11 kilo one. That's a good one. I, I haven't seen Dreams land that fish or line break. It's got to be a sturgeon then, doesn't it? I mean, it could be a monster cat. What's the hazel? I still use the bamboo stick 
to catch my bleak. Nice Ladoga, Dazzle. You've been killing it out there. All right, long range wasn't the answer. Hardcore! Damn, man, mine have just completely stopped. It's just a stick of hazel. Oh. Weep! Um. You wait all that time, chat, and then you miss it. That's Tella sticking. I hate the bolos. I was all excited to get a bolo rod, and then I just hate it. Now they've added this bobber window though maybe i would like it more i should try it more often Mahorum. maybe the three years is that fish coming in though dreams or is it still fucking off Oh wow. Yeah, you got a big one, huh? Hardcore, do you think you catch just as many fish with your line like this? I feel like I've caught quite a few this way, but I hate it. So I like almost always reset my cast. Oh, yeah, I don't like it that way either, but I think it still works just fine. <laughs> Yeah, I always switch this longer rod thinking I can throw it out further, but then the line just gets taut faster, and I hate it. Oh, you fucking shit dick! That's a whippoorwill. Did you hear it? Whippoorwill, whippoorwill, whippoorwill. Stupid fucking bird. I don't know if I know what a kill deer does. Does it say kill deer? Kill deer. Because that sounds like a pretty tight. It 
birds. I mean, most like birds in general are obno obnoxious. My grandma's rolling in her grave, and she's so mad at me. I'm surprised they haven't caught one decent citral yet. Like, not even one over one kilo. It's in. This just in. That was fast. From it's still running to in. It's a beluga, yeah. Wasn't even a tag? What? How big was it? And it ran your Vanga like that, huh? Wow, I didn't... I don't feel like my... 60 kilo one, uh, 28 kilo leader. Weird. I didn't think my 60 kilo one took me much longer than that. Hey, rock me for the 68 months. I'm, I'm using 35 kilo leader and uh, 28 kilo leader. And they have both done fine. Though I haven't caught a fish, like, in a day. <laughs> but I was when I first got here. from that whippoorwill. Thanks, Ragnarok. I was pretty happy with it. All the fish are dead. Yeah, it does still seem like a crazy long fight for that, because I just... Fishing tournament scoring work. Best weight out of the five fish. So you can catch as many bass as you want, but you can keep you keep five that you bring back to the dock with you. And whoever has the highest total weight on those five fish. So like we caught eleven fish throughout the day that were big enough to be considered keepers. Uh, and then we kept our best five. It's just under twelve pounds, I think. Not a massive bag, but enough to win. And like three pounds ahead of second. Everybody struggled. Those are the three wins we have this year were all when everyone else struggled. We uh, can consistently find fish. We just can't consistently find giants. Yeah, you're aiming for five biggins. There's also a prize for big bass, which I missed by like three ounces. I got second big bass. From your dad when you were fishing during? Nice. I could have about afford a SNES with what I won, yeah. Not counting entry fees, gas, bait. Or tackle, I guess. Yeah, we don't use bait. I'm about to throw some ground, random ass ground bait out there. See if it gives me some, a fish. I do record some, yeah. Some of it's on YouTube, but. Uh, or like a couple of them are on YouTube. Maybe just one even. I have a bunch I need to edit yet. 
A bunch of them have started editing and just haven't finished. Weather's been bad like the last four weeks in a row. It's been raining and I don't want to gamble my GoPros on the rain. They're waterproof, but they only last like 40 minutes without ch needing charge, which I can't. They're not waterproof when they're charging. Legitimately, what's going on here? Someday I'd like to buy into one of the bigger tournaments and see just how I pair up. There's a smaller league that like if you win it, you qualify for a bigger league thing too I might consider next year. That still has cheap buy-ins. Still not quite there though. I learned a lot this year, but I got a ways to go yet. Kayak tourneys, yeah. There was one going on last Sunday at my tournament, the same place we were at. The kayak ones are interesting because a lot of times they'll let you enter the water anywhere you want because it's all done like remotely. The river was loaded with kayaks. There must have been 200 fucking people in that kayak tournament. Oh no, not again. But they love the bass boat wakes. We were outnumbered like 10 to 1. So they can deal with it because they were in every single spot on the river. Every channel you pulled into, every backwater, every eddy, there was a fucking kayak sitting. So fuck them. <laughs> I'm with the onion. I almost had a sponsorship deal with uh, Lowrance, a fish finder company, but then they said no because I smoked. Mm, 
luck on the day versus like skill predicting the fish tank. Um, I think it, I would compare it similar to a lot of things. There's a, there's a mix of both, right? Skill's going to win you more often than not, but you're going to have bad luck days. You're going to have bad days, you're going to have bad luck days. And um, more uh, people are going to have good luck days. You know what I mean? I think you, I think you, less that you're losing to good luck or to your own bad luck and more that you're losing to someone else's incredible luck. We talked about this earlier with like risk of cheating and stuff like that, but like it's pretty easy to go to a lake and because there's so many tournaments going on throughout the year, like literally thousands, um, it's pretty easy to go to a lake and know like what to expect the weight to be by looking at other tournament results. So when some guy comes in with just this blown out crazy weight, you got pretty lucky. way above the average kind of deal. But, uh, so we also keep track of points throughout the season, like racing or lots of other sports. And the guys who won the season, uh, they consistently won. And if they weren't first, they were second or third, like pretty much every single week. So, uh, they're good. They're very, very good. Sort of like we used to have with Isaac races, even, right? You're old enough to remember that shit, right? Like, hyphenated lost when people got really lucky. But otherwise, he won. See it, what'd you get, Ura? Oh, it was. I was gonna say, if they don't flag at 20 kilos, oh, a six kilogram containment, yeah, that's a fight for you. Just get a sterlet here, hardcore. I haven't seen one of those. I think the really high level of fishing, when you get into like the Bassmaster, it probably becomes a lot more luck. When you're into that top 1% of fishermen type deal, that it becomes a lot more luck. Like, and there are guys that are really good at certain things that will shine over and over and over on certain types of lakes, like guys that are really good at smallmouth bass fishing, really good with the finesse, subtle stuff that, that does really well with smallmouth bass. Um, and some guys who are really good early in the year, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, you get my point. But uh, when you've got 80 or whatever, however many, they do like 60 to 100 people or something like that in those Bassmaster tournaments. Uh, and they're all incredibly skilled fishermen with the top of the line gear. I think a lot of that falls into, into luck.
Oh, you're, it must be Sturlet time. Oh no, this is a fucking bastard sturgeon. Quaza, these are the 48 months. That's the first bastard I've seen out of here. Uh, we're just good. They still are good, Juju. But, uh, KVD doesn't win. Like, he wins a small percentage more than others and stuff. It's like, it's still not. It's not like he's winning every other Bassmaster event, right? And they're still in that top 80. The better guys probably yeah, still win more frequently, but I think it's a smaller margin. It seems like the whitefish are gone and sturgeon have moved in, eh? And I should get my lines out of the water. That's my cue to go to bed. Live some, have fun. I don't have two hours to kill. And if I hook into one, I got to land it, so. You just got three, only one in chat, huh? Well, you're a prick. Why does the walrus stick suck so bad compared to my ultralight? It's just got to be that line difference. I have a rod that hasn't hit a fish in like a day and a half. Yeah, I've caught two crayfish here on my bleak. Steelhead run that's starting. I would like to learn steelhead and salmon better now that I have the boat and don't have to fuck around with the old school sitting on the shore trying to pretend like you're not snagging them. I saw a big ass fucking salmon get caught at the that last bass tournament I was at. Probably twenty five plus. Salmon will be starting here in a couple weeks. Pretty serious. Yeah, boats are cool hardcore. It's not getting close to, well, I don't know where you're at, Seadrum, but people quit fishing because it gets cold, but the best fishing of, second best fishing, debatably the best of the year is just starting. It doesn't last long, but the fall bite is tremendous. Oh, Alaska. Yeah, you're probably beyond fall already. And if you're like most Alaskans, I know like most of your fishing is food, not fun. How often do I fish on Lake Michigan? Uh, never. I don't want to die. I fish right up to Lake Michigan on rivers, but never in it. I don't want 
not die. Why would I die? Uh, I don't have a boat big enough for Lake Michigan. Is it explosive? You could call it that, yeah. It, it, it's like the most dangerous of the Great Lakes. I think Superior can get there too, but uh, I've been on it in like over 10 foot waves. And yeah, it can turn really quick. So because it's giant, yet still narrow, it can get really choppy really fast. In the time we, it took us, we had parked our sailboat, I don't know, let's say 200 yards offshore and then taken the dinghy to shore. And in the time we noticed the waves had started to come in, by the time it took us to get back to our boat, they had gone from like two foot to six foot. So in a matter of minutes. <clears throat> There's a school for watchmaking? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to downplay your bad year. I'm sorry to hear you're having a bad year, but I didn't know there was a watchmaking school. That sounds like Butler School and super cool and exclusive. I got a lot of friends that go to St. Clair every year. The problem I hear with St. Clair is it's just loaded with people like fishing and fishing planet there's just people everywhere so like when you're smallmouth fishing there you're staring at like literally 30 other bass boats all a hundred yards apart. You're used to that, I guess, probably with walleye fishing on Erie's probably not a ton different. Nice. There's good fish there, no doubt. But, uh... a long drive for me for that I'd have to do like a weekend to justify it I don't mind a lot of boats as long as we can spread out but from all the pictures I've seen every hole every hill Every hot spot is just surrounded with boats. All bass boats, all fishing for the same thing. Some of my friends love it. Some of my friends still go despite the fact that all they do is complain that it wasn't worth the three hour drive each way. I think the musky guys I know love it more than the bass guys I know. Pure fishing can be a lot of fun. 
And depending on the guys, man, it can be really cool. I learned a lot as a kid growing up, you know. Just talk to people. Nice black spine. Yeah, it really helps being a kid. People are definitely a lot nicer than as an adult. But when somebody like knowing openly admits that like they're new to fishing, you know, learning and stuff to me, it, it's different than when some guy just rolls up, stands next to me and doesn't talk because I just assume the worst. Fuck you too, fish. So clean your reels every day. It's just catfishing. Honestly. If you're if you're not going out into the water, but if you're Ooh. I love bay fishing in the ocean's a ton of fun. Or beach fishing. Especially because it's so easy to catch bait in salt water. There's so many different bait fish to catch. You don't want to fish it by anyone or strangers? That's fair. The number one way you're going to get hooked is either by a fish or by somebody not paying attention. I just meant it's like catfish in the sense that a lot of bay fishing can be done. Oh my god, I just was going to pull my rod out and I got a bite. A lot of bay fishing can be done with similar rigs. I mean, I caught redfish that way, snook, flounder. I did not catch any trout that way. Did I? I did catch a trout. How did I catch it? I think I caught a trout on like a... Whatever those little fucking plugs are called you guys use. But butt plugs. No, that's not the one. I, I don't know that. I didn't know that. They might use it. Or live shrimp for sure. Yeah, I didn't fish for the mullet. I did fish with shrimp, but they weren't alive. But no, I'm pretty sure I caught them on these little silver plug things. I don't remember the name of them, though. Speckled trout are fucking weird. They got a fang. One singular fang, chat.
if you go to a pier, you'll probably be able to catch like pinfish or ladyfish right off the pier with a sabiki rig. And a lot of the piers even sell those fuckers right there on the pier. And then you can use those as bait. They work wonders. You won't cat. You will not hook yourself casting unless you use like a tiny baby rod. The physics isn't there. Yeah, that's usually what most guys do is go to the pier, sabiki off the side, or cast nets if you got them, but sabiki off the side, pick up some ladyfish or pinfish or grunts, and then there's your bait. That's what makes ocean fishing so fun. And then you can just keep upgrading your bait, too. Just go with, put a bigger fish on there. Maybe if you suck at overhand casting. I mean, you'd re like I said, with a short rod, maybe, but I everything I use is 7 foot to 7 four. Like, you'd have to not only cast way behind you, you'd have to have some weird... The bait would have to start underneath you uh, to, in order for you to, like, pull it up and hit yourself. He managed to hook himself twice. I don't want to call your father an idiot, but... Well, was he casting, though? Like, you can hook yourself. That happens. Unhooking fish. Number one re way people get stabbed. Grass from a lure. Yeah, that one's pretty... Silly. Pliers, though, Trevor. A lot of slack. You still have to have that slack in a position that's close enough to your body. Because even if you have fucking 14 foot of slack, it's still just going to follow your rod. So you, unless that line's like you have to have it under your leg, between your legs hanging out in front of you type deal. Because I cast with a lot of slack sometimes when I use floral leaders like pike fishing and stuff like that. I'll hit the guy in the boat, at the back of the boat from the front of the boat sometimes, but never myself. The other one I'll hook myself is trying to skip with a flip, flip skipping, whatever they call that. You could just call it flipping because I'll hold the bait and then flip the bait forward and hook my hand that I'm holding the bait with because I don't let go fast enough. I don't know what a pizza is. Yeah. It's pretty rare, Trevor. It's kind of like shooting a gun. You just look before you cast, you know? You pay attention to where you're casting other people you can't do nothing about that we've both had 11 kilo ones nothing crazy though pitch instead of a skip yeah I can't skip worth a shit unless I'm like positioned really well but really the number one get you hooked I've fished so much with I sometimes fish in a boat with four people and two of them are children uh, the number one way you get hooked is taking hooks out of the fish and something goes wrong, the fish flops, you have a little too much tension in your line, it pops up. 
I've never had to cut one out yet, knock on wood. They're actually not that bad, though. I don't know. Like, uh, a hook in the hand, it, it heals pretty quick. Like, it sucks in the moment, but I've never had a hook in the hand bad enough that it sent me home. A handful of hooks? No, I just jerked those motherfuckers out of there. Oh, I always get my thumbs. Always my thumbs. Never the... Oh, no, one time I did get that. I don't rub catfish slime in the wound. <laughs> but I do just usually jerk them out. And I've had the... Uh, pass the barb a couple times. you'd get hooked with a circle that that's maybe a kayak thing <laughs> but like circle hooks are designed to not do, to not hook <laughs> I have no idea how that one would happen this is insane down here I think it's time for bed. Yeah, if it got caught in there somehow, slanging up. I do think kayaks are crazy. Who the fuck is Trusty Peary? <laughs> I'm going to shame him anyway. That is a big reason I don't like kayak fishing either. It's so much harder to handle a fish. Yeah, I bet. I just lay those fuckers down on the floor. Set my rod down, get my pliers out. can't say enough good things about pliers and all of us fishermen are really bad about I'll get it no big deal but just pliers man they're so good buy a good set like they got uh, pliers with a line cutter on them great invention that way you always have it to cut your line to fucking little bitch I saw you do that Yeah, treble hook's much worse for hooking myself. I poke myself all the time, but whatever, that don't matter. Some of the pliers always... Nah, dude, I, I got my pliers are on a... Like a bone cord, and they clip to my belt loop. I don't know, I, I used to, I just recently, like this year, became adamant about pliers. Small drop shot hooks is what did it to me. Because I just could not get them out. When that small hook gets wrapped around the like bone of their lip, it, there's nothing to grab onto. Yeah, I used to use... My mom used to always bring home roach clips from work when she was a nurse. I used to use those, but they're just not strong enough.
They work fine for like bluegill. I still use them for bluegill to get the hook out of like a gut hook bluegill when I'm fishing with kids. But when you're trying to fucking get a five aught circle hook out of two inches of catfish cheek, you need pliers, I think. <laughs> Who sent me a message? Thanks for the perch, Thomas. Thanks for the perch, Thomas. That's a nice grayling. Don't bluegill have like super pokey spines? Trevor, you're a grown ass man. All fish have pokey spines. Actually, I think perch are worse than bluegill, personally. Uh, bluegill have more of them, but they're easier to control, I find, than a perch. Perch always surprise me and get me. Catfish, the most dangerous pokies, besides teeth, unless we're talking about tooth critters. Yeah, perch are horrible for pokies. Real serious pokey on their fin. And they've got the, whatever they're called, on dorns? Is that what it's called on their gills? Yeah. So if you were talking about going perch fishing... They've got these pokies that stick off the back of their gills. So, like, when you're trying to hold down their top pokey fins, you sometimes stab yourself with their dorns. I didn't know there was a term for it. It's like skeg. They got terms for everything, Charlie. All right, I'm going to recast this fucking rod because it hasn't had a fish in almost two days. I had a damn pike cost me a fish at the tournament. I caught a nice pike. And I uh, didn't realize he got wrapped in my line. And like 60 feet up my line, I, I set the hook and it broke way up the line where I was wrapped on that pike. And my buddy's like, yeah, you didn't notice that? When you threw that pike off, he got caught in your line. Bastard. I caught three pike, though, on mono without getting broke off, so I was happy about that. Normally they just steal your lure and swim away and laugh at you. All right, Hardcore, my fish have just completely died, and you're stealing them all. Snooks have three razor blades on the sheath by their gills? I had no idea when I handled that snook. I've always said the snook was the only friendly fish we caught in the ocean. Saltwater fishing, when you have no clue what any of the fish are, is a wild experience. Double nuts, where are these black spines at? Teach me your ways. Dude, when I, we reeled in that snook in the middle of the night 
and we'd never seen one before. Had no idea it existed as a species. We were certain that it had some sort of death mechanism. And when we opened its mouth and there's no teeth, the first thing we had caught with no teeth, we were blown away. Now I'm wondering if we even got near their good skills. I don't know, I didn't pay attention. Didn't know to be weary of it. We were just looking for teeth. And we were like up on this deck, so we had to get down in the rocks with it and hoist it up. Because we were fishing with bass fishing rods. Big as a smoke? I don't remember the exact measurements, but uh, big. That big. Yeah, he's holding it by the gill. <laughs> Look where his hand is. <laughs> is sharp there? My buddy Gavin. We'd gotten a lot more careful. No, that was before he got stuck. He got stuck bad by a saltwater catfish and had to have surgery. Because it broke the barb off between his fingers. We share credit for the fish because it was his rod, but I caught it before it flew off into the ocean and reeled the fish in. So, technically my fish, but I give him some of the credit for having the rod in the water. We had him leaned against the railing of this deck, and that fucker jumped up against the deck, and it was held against by held by the top of the reel, just going. And I went sprinting to catch it. We had went to a bait store before and asked the dude some questions about what to fish for and what to use. And uh, he gave us all these tips and said snook there are pretty decent. He goes and fishes it like every morning before work and gave us all this advice on what to use. But my buddy Gavin was like, I really want to use squid. And the guy kept telling him, you'll never catch any snook on a squid. Ah, and he just kept, he wouldn't. So like we get all this snook stuff and uh, my buddy buys this squid anyway. And we caught it on a piece of squid. And when we went back to the bait shop the next day to get more bait and showed him a picture of it and said it was on squid, I thought the guy was going to punch me in the face. He had never caught one that big there, and uh, he caught it on squid, which he told us not to bother with. That's the great part about fishing. You sometimes just get lucky. Or maybe the devs had changed what snook like to eat that day. No, 
Alright, I gotta go to bed. Whitefish won't bite my rods anymore. Just a little bit longer. Six more minutes. One o'clock, even one. You got a runner? Fuck you, man. Nothing's biting my rods. It's it's the classic whitefish thing, though. I catch a few, get excited, want to stay, and then end up spending two hours catching nothing and losing the value of the ones I did catch. I need a third fucking rod. But I'm so far away from buying a third reel. I should just be brave and throw an HSV out there. Best sturgeon reel after all. will be fine. This will go fine. Let's do it. Can't possibly lose it. Borts. I don't even know if I can cast this fucker far enough. now. Jingle, jangle, jingle. <gasps> I think that was it just hitting the bottom. And it would be the small reel. The one we don't want to see go. It is always the small one. I haven't repaired my shit in forever either. I should spend all my money doing that. Oh my god, those line guides. <laughs> uh, I should definitely do that. That's probably eating line. Ugh. When do you repair line guides? Fifty <laughs> percent. Oh, really? All right, we're not there yet. Yeah, it does good. Brady's line guides worse, and then. The line guides eat the line back as they get bad, I think, is the way it works. The mech on my Tagara is pretty beat, too. I don't remember when you're supposed to repair mechs. No, not much longer, Gengar. I got Alice got school in the morning, and I've been up all day. Yeah, I don't know, God. I've used Braid on the same rod for like five years and probably cast like 9,000 times. Maybe if you're landing giants all the time. Hmm. 
Have a good one, Gengar. Like, I believe that it can happen. I just don't think it happens in the way that it's happening here. I guess you do land giants all the time in this game. Now that I think about it. I am constantly landing, like, 10 to 60 pound fish, huh? When do you repair max hardcore, do you know? Or any of you guys? What's the recommended? I think it's pretty low too, isn't it? Oh, like 30%. What does mechware do? Like, how does it affect the real? Does it actually weaken its over its strength? does reduce break strength. Okay. That's crazy, Daz. I was gonna try that instead of this, and I. I don't know, I did okay here. God, I can't believe I caught on that rod. This thing can't even reach the 21 meter line either. And it instantly into another fish. Don't worry, it's an HSV. Strongest sturgeon reel in the game, according to random backseat gamer. I don't think it's that big, actually. Upgraded mech? Oh no, not upgraded. Why would I do that? That's for cowards. I haven't worn out the friction brake on this since the upgrades became a thing. I'm having some uh, not so fun deja vu here. I feel like the HSV with a 17 kilogram mech though, or friction brake though, is probably a pretty fucking solid reel for like most fishing. Seems like almost the sweet spot. Like Yama and stuff like that. Besides hooking into a Chinook. But that's just Chinooks.
you think Tagara is the sweet spot? Feels like overkill and too much for pairing. Oh, I don't carp fish. Because carps are boring as fuck. You skipped Zagar and went straight to Venga. But Venga's like. not used except for sturgeon. Can't afford the maintenance on a Venga catching regular ass fish. Barman repair costs from then on. Like, people don't even use Vangas on, like, Amber, do they? Stigars are overlords? Some do, not do they? I want to play around with the Overlord versus the Tagara in casting distance because I didn't realize that was a thing in this game that spool size affects casting distance. I was going to go to bed at 1, and I threw this fucker out at exactly 1 o'clock instead of going to bed. It's not actually... Is it... Oh, it's 2 kilograms, isn't it, Raptor? Tagara definitely feels stronger to me than Overlord in my use of both trolling. He's way behind that. Can I get that out of there? I almost need to go all the way around it now, don't I? Yeah, I just got that big beluga on my overlord. Big by that, I mean like 68 or whatever. Almost triple the drag size is pretty, pretty big. a lot of jingling. I gotta go make sure I'm not getting spooled down here. I'm not hearing any drag pulling out of that other reel. You can actually see it too, can't you?
Oh yeah, it turned a tiny bit there. I had to have just roll the zero raptors. I, I'm, I'm guessing it literally just like rolls a dice. From zero to whatever your max line size is. And that's how much line you get back. So it, it's probably really unlikely to ever hit a zero and I did it. Because, yeah, like, it was just gone. That was the weird part. I've never opened it up and there's just nothing there. Save me the destroying it. 31 kilo beluga. You landed that pretty quick. A lot faster than either dreams or raptors landed theirs. They're the same person to me. Secretly handsome, thanks for the 54 months. Yeah, absolutely, Pesky. Absolutely. Uh, I've talked about it a lot, so sorry to those that have heard it a million times, but... So basically, the spend money in this, um, there's a premium option, which does have its uses, and at some point, if you play long enough, you'd want to probably consider premium. Um, but I think it's a reasonable price at, like, 50 cents a day or whatever. Um, everything else is so unbelievably expensive that it's just not worth it. Um, and you can earn it all with playtime. It's all available with playtime. It is a grind, so you better look forward to that. I like the grind, personally. It is the biggest complaint, I think, though. Too grindy. I love it, though. I can boot this game up. I've been able to boot this game up for like three or four years and still have things to accomplish. Yeah, I really think they did on purpose, Raptors, to try to keep the game alive. Because, like, Fishing Planet selling their gear dirt cheap, it just can't be good for the player base. And I think it's, it's almost noble of them. Because they probably would have cashed in quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing free right now. I, I don't have anything active on. Um, I've never bought anything. I bought some repairs once on stream just so I could get back to fishing. Um, repairing is cheap, gold-wise. It's like one of the other few things in the game that you can buy and not feel like super bad about. Uh, which, again, is nice because it's, you know... something that keeps you playing though repairing just takes time so you can fucking repair before you go to bed and if you progress through the game you'll have other rods to go fish other things with there's like always something there's, it wouldn't it, it doesn't it's not like you got to repair every day i haven't repaired in this whole week and a half i've been fishing But sometimes, yeah, you have to wait on your gear to repair. It's like, how long, chat? An hour or something? Never repaired in 900 hours? Yeah. It's not something you do commonly. Three to four hours to repair? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I did pay once just to keep playing with chat. I had a good excuse.
Yeah. Premium actually fucks players over a lot. Because... It levels you super fast. <laughs> and then you can't really do much on the new lakes. So there's not really a huge advantage to it. I tell... Somebody said this before. I stole it from them, but... Um, there's really no reason to buy premium until you understand why you're buying it. Like you really get how it's been, how it's benefiting you. Cause leveling is not that important. Making money is, that's the key to the game is making money. And premium does not help you make money, cannot help you make money. Tips for someone who just downloaded. Um, try not to get distracted by the millions of things you can do. Cooking and crafting lures and crafting ground bait and stuff like that. Try not to get too distracted by all that. Um, and get a bottom rod. Get, get a starter bottom rod kit as quick as you can. Because it's just going to speed up your progress and the consistency of which, of which you catch fish probably the best tips I can give a new player. Oh, and if you're breaking your shit, like if you're breaking your rod, if you're breaking your reel, it's your fault. Figure out why. Oh yeah, and join the fishing guild if you want more tips. Don't forget spitting on bread. When in doubt, use bread or worms. If you're fucking struggling to find fish, throw some bread on that bitch. Throw some worms on there and just see. It doesn't always have to be the fancy baits. Fishing guild? Oh, there's a chat room. We call it a fishing guild. Fifth, thank you for the 27 months. Just like old times. How you been? But we do see it a lot, and it's hard sometimes to explain to new players that they're breaking their shit. It's not the fish. It's not the shit. It's them. They're breaking their shit. Unless a fish spools you, nothing you have should ever break. And if a fish spools you, the only thing that should ever break is your line or your leader, depending on what level you are and where you're at in the game. But... Uh, If you're breaking your line, it's because your drag's turned up too high. If you're breaking your rod and reel, it's because your setup is wrong. And you just, you gotta figure that out. Because once you get into late game and start buying rods and reels for serious money, you do not want to break them. Well, I got hooked into a big fish, Gengar. So, now I'm stuck here. I was literally leaving at one, and then I cast out one more time instead, and this happened two seconds later. So this has been like a 19 minute fight already. Get getting spooled is fine. That's the normal part of the game. That happens, man. If all your line gets run off your reel, the fish was just too big for your gear. That wasn't your fault. That I mean, you could argue that don't fish for those, but fuck all those people. Those people are bitches. Fish for big fish. It's fun. 
get, hope you get lucky and you corner it like I have this one cornered in the river here. Uh, you'll learn you can start positioning better to give yourself a better advantage so the fish doesn't run off the map and things like that. But like, getting spooled is fine. If you get spooled and your line breaks, that was just because you got out, you got beat by a fish. If you get spooled and your rod breaks, it's because you fucked up. If your line breaks randomly in the middle of a fight, you fucked up. Yeah, and don't be afraid to chase a fish on foot. I'm gonna go pick this one up when it's finally tired. I'm gonna walk down there and grab it. The only thing I ever fish for on Sura is Volga Xander with bait fish. Yeah, Juju. I mean, for certain size sturgeons, yeah. I mean, yes, all, pretty much always. It's the only way to land some sturgeons. But it's super effective if you can get into, like, top tier gear and just yank in. Twenty and thirty kilo sturgeons without having to do the fight part, you can make some serious bank. A river runs through it, the single greatest fishing movie of all time. Not that many fishing movies. But I'm gonna agree with you. It's a it's a not a lot of competition though. Oh, there you go, Clockwork. Yeah, you're right. Grumpy Old Men is the best fishing movie of all time. You win. True facts. Cold as a witch's titty! I love that, that that line is burned into my brain, and it's not like even a real line in the movie. It's like a blooper at the end of the movie. The reason Grumpy Old Men is a better movie is because, like, if I have to choose between, like, this sweet, epic family of badass fly fishermen or a fucking weird love-hate relationship with my fishing neighbor, I choose the love-hate relationship with my fishing neighbor. That just sounds more fun. That's some of the old men that ice fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hate each other but secretly love each other. Yeah. They pretty much treat, treat each other like teenagers treat, treated each other in the early 2000s. Nah, they're not like gay for each other, but I think they fuck the same woman. Like, not at the same time. Not like sharing holes or anything like that, but just like... I'm also mad because I remember in that movie watching them catch night crawlers and thinking that was just movie shit, but I just learned this year how like it's that easy to just go catch night crawlers. And all this time I spent money on night crawlers when they're just free in the spring. Swan is that the show about killing alligators or whatever?
Uh, did they have a worming episode? Yeah, I tried to breed Nightcrawlers this year. It, it didn't turn out well and smelled bad at the end, but... I used most of them for bait before they died. I went to YouTube and they were like, it's super easy. And I did the step-by-step -step instructions they gave me and failed epically. Apparently. But in like two nights, I made my mom and my little brother go out and give me night crawlers because none, there's none where I live. The ground isn't right for it, but their both their properties it is so, and they got me like 700 night crawlers in two nights, and my mom's like a 60 year old woman, 65 year old woman, and my brother's like I love him dearly, but kind of an idiot. Difference between a Canadian Nightcrawler and a regular Nightcrawler. It's from Canada. They're usually bigger. European Nightcrawlers are smaller, but I think like a lot more lively. Have you seen the fucking, uh, like, beach night crawlers? I don't know what they're actually called. The big giant beach worms, though, that people go catch fifth? That's pretty interesting. They're, like, three feet long. Yeah, like, this tiny little bit sticks out when the, when the tide washes back. Like, this tiny little bit sticks out, and they run out and grab it and pull it out of the ground, and it's, like, three feet fucking long. It's a snake? No, it's just, just like, it's regular worm diameter, but three feet long. D did, uh, what's his name? The Australian fishing streamer? The old dude? Did he go catch him once? Oh, I'm upset I missed that stream. He's an interesting dude. I watched his stream. Oh, no, this is a crazy human wrath. Oh, okay. There's an old man who streams. I can't remember the name of his stream right now. I'd have to look, but he streams from Australia. I say old, but he's, like, probably late 40s. Uh, where the fuck is this fish at? Around the corner. <laughs> Yeah, 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 he's cool, Clock. He's like kind of an asshole, but I respect that because so am I. A little like too friendly PG for me, but like, uh, you know, he's got his rules and you follow him or fuck off, and I like that about him. I don't think I've ever seen him catch a fish. But I watch him fish. Ask him questions about differences in fishing here and there. Well, you just haven't pissed me off yet. Yeah, Jim, I think that's right. Yeah. He's a nice guy. 
besides the like you know. I guess we're not assholes we're more opinionated and because it's our stream it's our way or get the fuck out kind of deal which is, it doesn't necessarily make us assholes but I, assholes an easier way to say that he's very knowledgeable I still don't think I've seen him catch a fish though This fucking fish, though. Meanwhile, I've got like an eight kilogram white fish over there that'd be worth a hundred bucks, you know? That's gonna be gone before I catch this one. That's the way this game works. Can finally upgrade my HSV brake after this. Now that I'll have worn it out. Last time he swam into here and stayed, this time he's gone up here and I'm very worried. I thought he was slowing down, but... I'm about to walk back and reel the other one in. It's probably the, the best economical play for me. Nah, he's up here somewhere now. If he goes all the way over here, I think we're in trouble. Because getting him around this point again will be nearly impossible. I think I'm gonna reel this other one in. I mean, I'll probably lose this fish doing it, but like, at the rate this thing is running, I'm gonna be here a while. And I, one, don't wanna be, two, don't know that it'll ever happen. garbage chub.
Oh yeah, love driver monsters. Is that still air ever? I don't know. They're probably just reruns. The guy's got to be pretty old by now. Only so many river monsters to go after. Twenty nine or two thousand nine to twenty seventeen. That's a good run, though, man. Did he like legitimately say I ran out of fish, so I stopped? Because two people in chat, one person in both chats said it. F Simtoric. And like legitimately, there's only so many monster fish to chase. He said it. Yeah, that's good. I done caught them all. It's very Forrest Gump. I remember when his fucking bicep fell off. He fought a fish for like hours until his bicep fell off. Or maybe his rod snapped and that blew out his bicep? One of the two. I know I saw his rod snap at least once too. He did go for Nessie. That was part of the show though, yeah, like trying to go after myths and legends and then catching the mo the closest thing that was relative. Basically catching the reality. Oh yeah, the freshwater stingray. That was a giant. show. He was a really cool dude. And he went into some fucking like sketchy territory too a few times. Because most of those fish you were chasing was, were in Africa and South America.
the bugs alone. That's like as much as I'd love to go catch like an Arapaima or something like that. Like, fuck the bugs, you know. My buddy went down to like rural middle of nowhere Georgia and fished with a dude and like everything was giant. And uh, he said like at first he was shocked but then he started paying attention to the fucking size of the bugs. Grasshoppers the size of your foot. It's like no wonder they get fucking huge. <laughs> done buddy I was kind of just chilling you were chilling I was chilling manatees are fucking hilarious I uh, we were fishing in this bay dude between the manatees and the dolphins at night they would just come up and get right next to you I'm just chilling and pfft not their dumb blowholes and scare the shit out of you in the middle of the night. But we'd like turn our flashlights on every so often to look in the water and there'd just be a manatee three feet away from you, chilling. And they're giant, giant dumb creatures. They must not taste very good. Or they'd be extinct. Because they seem like the kind of creature that would just be too easy to eat. Smart like a tree or a fish. They're endangered. Yeah, now. But like... That's mostly not from hunting or anything. That's just from boating and weather. This year was horrible for them. They're all blubber, yeah. But a lot of the big, dumb, easy to find creatures, we murdered them because it was, we were hungry and they were easy to eat, you know, like buffalo. Then buffalo came hides over food even. And then buffalo killing over running off people. Have you? That's good, brother. Or bad, I don't know, who knows. It's good you're seeing them, you know? Not gone completely. I think China just declared one of their manatees extinct. Tourism? And that's the one you're going with? That was the big one? There's a, there was a ton of tourism back in the old Oregon Trail days. Just 
get in your covered wagon and take the three month journey out to see the buffaloes. That was a big, big part of it. Yeah. As well as food and profit. It started as food and profit. And then we discovered big conflict with Native Americans in the sense that they won't just give us all their land for free without complaining. is real though so I don't have high hopes that it's anything special gonna walk at it and then he did that. One last little jerk me off. get you back from there honestly bison buffalo whatever same difference yeah I think I'm fucked here honestly I'd have to get a boat ticket and go shove him. For the Catalina wine mixer? I may have a spare boat ticket. I don't think I do though. No, I've never been to the Catalina Island. Sorry, fucking wine mixer. Yeah, I'll have to get a boat ticket and go push it. Tommy always comes through with the boat tickets. I think I reel it uh, until it pulls drag. So I know it's up against shore. Then we got to run all the way down there and get in our boat.
I think that's it. Yeah, no, black spine herrings, when they're, when you can catch them, they're crazy money. There's still some guys who, like, that's their main farm, really high level. Because there's, like, zero wear and tear. And 80 grams is, like, nowhere near their max size for a flag, let alone trophy. I think I have like a 140 gram one in my inventory that's not a trophy. I had a ticket. I can send you that back, Tommy. Uh, multiplayer and with tournaments and communication, we can't see each other. Yeah, they were hitting right out here at the end for a minute for me. I caught like eight of them and then they just turned into citrus. Is there still a citral order up there, or is that gone by now? Saw a fish got away, thought it was me. Shame. There's a two 100 gram base. I might have that. I have at least one of those. You join the channel via the name and password. never been able to find good big head spot. Wild carp for a while, but they're just not worth the fight. I think they buffed him a little bit though with the money. I got here like just in time that rod had just straightened out. I thought I'd pulled him all the way against the island, but I guess not. Fifty minutes now. It's going to be something garbage, like a 24 kilogram beluga. And I'm going to cry. Just don't be a beluga.
I don't know that that's a blue, though. It's a sturgeon. I have a, an issue, though. I don't know... How much bend that's going to keep in my rod. Good chance I lose it, but the other alternative is to just never land it, so... Fucking car in the water over here? I never noticed that. I didn't miss it. I was turning around. Boy. I don't really know how to bump him in any way. Push them on shore. That is a beluga. That sucks. Yeah, I sh maybe should have tried to push him before I reeled him into shore. Oh, that moved him pretty good. I gotta go reel in my line a little, I think, or it's gonna lose all its tension. Because the game doesn't allow you to, thus. Because video game stuff. It's still got decent tension. I'm afraid if I over... I think I just go for it, dude, and don't worry about losing him. Yes, that's why, Dust. And I don't think you can net. Like, I don't think you can net. You have to have a fish on the rod, and I don't think you could net a different fish than the one you're currently holding the rod for. I lost him. Is he in these weeds or something? Or is he that far down the shore? Oh no, my microphone. He wasn't that far, he's this way. I think he's rolled down in the water that he's not on the surface anymore. Or he's just hiding in that grass. He's stuck again. Can't pick the rod. Can't take the rod from shore to the boat. No. This is literally the only way. I promise.
He's still right there. It's 40 kilos worth a buck or two at least. Fucker dove again. I almost need to prop his nose up on the fucking shore and then try to roll him down like a sausage. Fish roll pretty good. He's stuck. We make it, it feels like we're making decent distance every time we do this, but then I go see him and it doesn't. But the amount of reeling I do feels good. I wanna see him like right here. I don't see him at all. Is that him there? Yeah. There we go. Just run his ass over. Stop losing fish when I'm in the middle of this. We're getting him close. couple more trips uh he might get the right angle to just shimmy on down the coastline they always the nice thing they did make it so the fish continue to shimmy so like they try to help it's 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 kind of a honker i don't think it's that big i'm gonna guess it's like maybe 30 keys somebody said 40 which would be okay because i think that's like over 100 silver and worth borderline worth my time Yeah, I'm using a caliber, so I don't think he's massive. He looks decent up in, up close, but they always look huge. Because it's so hot. No, it's just the color of the line I chose to use. I think he's free. I don't want to look and jinx myself, but I think he's off the island and coming home. Because, Mama, Mama, I'm coming home. I looked at my phone, and under my phone is a box of expired raisinets, and I really want to eat them, but they're expired, and like I don't want to die to that. Dreams, what was your 25 kilo beluga worth? Like 80 silver? Alright. Well, I won't be the worst upset about that.
Use your tension rod to reel in. What the fuck is a tension rod? <laughs> Thank you, Raptors. I have eaten a hundred watermelons in one IRL day. He's free! This will be another seven minutes or so. Sometimes the dick gives you an itch. It's not always a bad itch. Yeah, you can see it. He's right there. We got him. Boat ramming. Thank you, Tommy. I didn't need you, but I appreciate the effort. Teamwork makes the dream work and whatnot. It's a beluga, not just a sturgeon, but a beluga, according to a guy in chat. <clears throat> but then he also told me to use my tension rod, so I don't know if I trust him anymore. much where does this put on the gear uh this right here not a lot the him running all the way up and around the fucking river around the corner around the country uh that part that did some decent wear and tear might have broke if it's a fucking beluga i probably broke even maybe I don't know the sturgeons apart by looking at them very well, unless it's like a stellet or a sterlet. The like really unique ones, but the Russian, Persian, beluga. I think it is a beluga, though. It's light. I think the belugas are very light color. What? You're going to come back to life now? I think the Persians are kind of brown. That's, like, just a statement that could be... Maybe it's a 134 kilogram Baltic surgeon. You know, that'd probably be worth the time I spent on this and the fact that I'm not gonna get much sleep tomorrow. God, 134 kilogram surgeons must look amazing on screen. 
think you're reeling in a full on boat. That's all. Yeah, we, well, maybe it's just a lazy, dying old sturgeon. That's not what no comment means. Sweet Christmas. Who reels this slow? It's pretty much dead. It's dead tired. Oh, it's so much further than it looked zoomed in, too. This is my least favorite part of the game, 100%. Like, of everything else you could complain about, this is the one right here. How long it takes to reel in a tired fish. There's no joy in this, just sore fingers. some moonshine and forget about it. I still can't see enough of it to try to identify it. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, you either reel faster than that or you break the fucking handle off your reel. One of the two. No, it's a it's a sturgeon and probably a beluga. They've been biting here occasionally. And it's not very big now that it's not I'm not in the boat. It's like twenty. At least the way it, the angle it looks now, it looks very thin. I can't see the top of it. My tiny net. Get in my tiny net. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. That's nice, at least. I don't know why it's that. I don't. They're a lot darker than I thought. I thought they were light gray. Congratulations, random guy on the internet. You were correct. I was supposed to trust you because trusting strangers on the internet has never been the wrong choice. Oh, 
Uh, it's still like a, it's a lot of silver for one fish, yes. But the wear and tear it did on my gear and the time it took, is it worth it? No, not really. It's not like the worst thing ever. It could could have been worse. Weekly record, yeah. They just reset today, and it's just a U.S. weekly because no Americans play this game. The only Americans are us. No, not really. There's a handful of guys. But we definitely have least con less contested, like... Here's Russian weeklies already. Wait, this is weeklies. Russian weeklies already. There's one, two... Three fish that haven't been caught. Let's see, U.S. weeklies. Quite a few more. Italy. Uh, Italy has its whole own category. More uh, U.S. than Italian, apparently. Should have been Italian. They must break in the cash. What's the least played? Other? Oh no, others popping. I've heard China's pretty popular, seems to be the case. Poland. It's between Spain and Italy. switch my region to Spain so I can make that extra weekly buck. Actually, I don't think regions matter at all for weekly. It's just, it's got to be global, isn't it? The overall Beluga weekly is for, I think I've seen like 160 today. Uh, 124. U.S. Beluga. This dude's chasing him. Big Daddy. Yeah, I saw Big Daddy get the 69 earlier. He's killing it. Big Daddy 69. Yeah, so when it says weekly, that means it's regional and not global. They reset all the leaderboards now to uh, not just the weekly, but the absolutes too, which is good and bad. I think it's good, mostly good. Except I lost the absolutes I had. When they all reset and chat died and everything. They haven't reset absolutes again, have they? God, this is such a long drive home. Worst part about fishing that spot, the drive. I should have went the other way. I think it's faster. How could I have teleported? Closed my game and reopened it? I 
That's a lot of work. You put $1,500 into online slots? Jeez. I'm happy for you. Yeah, I'm got, I gotta avoid gambling entirely. It's a dangerous, scary thing. I just went the wrong. Oh no, I'm fine. Indo gacha games? I'll suck your dick. <laughs> I can't actually offer you that because it's Twitch TOS, but you know. I have another viewer who has crazy money in gacha games. Oh no, I didn't know if Elor does. Does he really? That's funny. Thirty-eight Beluga. An eight hundred dollar a month mobile game budget? Fuck me, dude. I really fucked up in life. A lot of times. I know most of you are aware of this, but like I can barely make my mortgage and it's his online game budget. Not online game, mobile game. That's the word. Someone develop a gacha game so I can stream it for a cut and then we can both retire. Thanks. I'm one day short. Days. Not even an order to do. He's worth 110 bucks. Not really worth it. That was worth 118 bucks, and it took me 18 seconds to reel in. What was that, 429? Almost made as much off black spined herrings. Crayfish, what a deal. Fifty bucks off Shemaya's.
All right, chat. I gotta be up for school in the morning. I'll be back tomorrow, though. Probably for a bit during school, and then, uh... I don't know. We'll see. She has to go to... Gymnastics, I believe, is the scheduled thing tomorrow. I don't know. My daughter's doing too much shit. Cheerleading, gymnastics, competitive cheerleading, Girl Scouts. I die. Thank you for everything you do for me. Um... I appreciate the money. I know I'm no gotcha game, but I love you. Have a good night. <laughs>